हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू गेट शॉर्ट ट्रिक सीरीज दिस इज विनय यादव बैक विथ अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो इन गेट शॉर्ट ट्रिक सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एडवांस्ड फूरिया सीरीज प्रॉपर्टीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द बेसिक फूरिया सीरीज प्रॉपर्टीज विच इंक्लूड्स शिफ्टिंग स्केलिंग वी हैव सीन शिफ्टिंग एंड स्केलिंग बोथ बाय वन एग्जाम्पल we have seen how to get the components available in the function by the type of a function okay in which we have seen if the function is real what will be the components present in the function if the function is even or if the function is real and even if the function is real and odd or the odd itself okay so these things we have seen in the basic properties video in this advanced property i have kept only one property that is half wave symmetry let's see that if you want to see mathematically if your signal is half wave symmetry or not then you must check this if your f of t is equals to minus f of t plus or minus t by 2 if your signal is satisfying this mathematical equation then you can say that your signal will be half wave symmetry signal okay now let's see the traditional approach to check whether your signal will be uh, half wave symmetry or not let's say you have a signal like this this is a periodic signal okay fourier series is applicable only for periodic signal only okay so this is a signal that you have and you have to check whether your signal is half wave symmetry or not so to check that what you will do you have f of t first you will get minus f of t okay so minus f of t will be simply your a will become minus a so the signal will be something like this right okay this is what your minus f of t is now we have to shift plus t by 2 or minus t by 2 let's say we shift by plus t by 2 so the signal will now become like this this part is shifted here okay this is 0 this is 0 this is t by 2 this is t okay so if we shift our signal by t by 2 so our signal will be something like this okay and if you compare this signal and this signal you can see the same signal is produced after this operations first you have converted f of t to minus f of t then you have shifted this minus f of t ka signal by t by 2 and you have got the same signal f of t okay so if this is the case then you can say your signal will be half wave symmetry signal okay so this was a traditional approach okay now let's see the one second approach okay let's say you have a signal like this okay this is your signal okay this is zero this is t by two this is t okay so to check whether your signal is half wave symmetry in one second what you have to do is you have to consider this single period signal okay so the single period signal is this right okay this is your zero this is your d by two and this is your t now what you have to do is you have to take this half part you have to take this half part and you have to shift this half part to the remaining part okay so now your signal will be something like this this is your t by 2 this is your t and your signal is something like this okay now if you see carefully your signal became symmetry over x axis your signal became symmetry over x axis okay so whenever this happens whenever if you shift the half part of your signal to the remaining half part and you are getting the signal symmetry over x axis then you will say that your signal is a half wave symmetry okay so this was the mathematical approach this was the traditional approach this is the one second approach okay now let us see if your signal is half wave symmetry what are the things that you can conclude directly first thing is that if your signal is a half wave symmetry then you can directly say that your c0 basically dc shift will be zero directly okay and the second thing is that in your cn for n is equals to even cn is zero so basically there won't be any even harmonic signal your signal can have a sine component cosine component but this both components won't have even harmonics okay it will have only odd harmonics okay 
So let us go back and see once again when your signal is half wave symmetry you can directly say that your DG shift will be zero basically your C zero will be zero and the second thing you can say that your CN will be zero for n equals to even which means that you won't have any even harmonics you will have only hard harmonics so this was about half wave symmetry signal in some signal you won't get half wave symmetry directly it can happen that half wave symmetry is hidden in that signal so let's see how to deal with that signal that signal is called as hidden half wave symmetry by the way so let's say you have a signal something like this okay 0 t by 2 this is t and then again you have here minus t by 2 this is minus t okay so this is your signal if you see this signal this is your one period of the signal okay this is half part this is half part if you take this part and shift over this remaining part you will get something like this this is your t by 2 this is your t and this is what you will get okay if you see carefully this is not symmetry over x-axis so this is not a half wave symmetry signal okay but yes this can be hidden half wave symmetry so let's see how to check it let's say this signal has amplitude of a okay the signal has amplitude of a and you see that by shifting the half part of a signal to the remaining part the signal is not symmetry over x-axis and that's why you are saying that this is not a half wave symmetry signal okay so what you will do right now is you are going to shift this signal by a by 2 downwards you're going to shift the whole signal by a by 2 downward okay so let's your signal let's say become something like this minus t minus t by 2 and you are getting this right this is your a by 2 this is your minus a by 2 right now again if you try to check for half wave symmetry what you will do you will use this one period you will take this part you will shift to this part to the remaining part and now you will see something like this okay this is your t by 2 this is your t you have half part over here you have half part over here okay this is your a by 2 this is your minus a by 2 now you will see that your signal is symmetry over x-axis okay so now you can say that your signal is half wave symmetry no your signal is hidden half wave symmetry your signal is hidden half wave symmetry why because to get the half wave symmetry in this signal what you have done is you have shifted your signal either upside or downside okay you can shift your signal either upside or downside in this signal you have shifted downside okay and then you got the signal half wave symmetry okay so that's why this signal is called as hidden half wave symmetry in this half half wave symmetry is hidden okay so whenever your signal is hidden half wave symmetry then first thing your dc shift won't be zero your dc shift won't be zero basically what i'm saying is your c0 won't be zero your c0 will be equal to the shift your c0 will be equal to the shift or you can directly calculate by the formula that is 1 by t0 over a period of t0 f of t dt by mathematically you can use this formula or your c0 will be the direct dc shift that you have done in your signal to get the signal as half wave symmetry signal okay so in this sum what it will be your dc shift will be 0 c0 will be a by 2 here you have shifted the signal downside that's why your dc shift was positive which was a by 2 if you shift your signal upward and then you got your signal as half wave symmetry then your c0 basically dc shift will be negative c0 will be positive when it is shifted downside c0 will be negative when it is shifted upside okay so this was the first thing that you must know when your signal is hidden half wave symmetry and the second thing is that your cn will be zero for n equals to even okay this is same as half wave symmetry the only difference is that here your dc shift won't be zero but the second property cn equals to zero for n equals to zero will be there okay so that means that your signal will have only odd harmonics only odd harmonics and one more thing right 
this is a signal where you can see that this signal is neither even neither odd okay but when you have shifted this signal downside you can see that this signal became odd okay so the property of odd function will also follow okay in hidden half f symmetry when you are shifting your signal and then if your signal become even then the even property will also follow if your signal become odd then your odd property will also follow okay we know that if your signal is real and even with real your cn will be cn is equals to c of minus n ka conjugate with even your cn will be equals to c of minus n right with this your f of t will be equals to f of conjugate of t with this your f of t will be equals to f of minus t okay that's why your cn for real is c of n is equal to c of minus n ka conjugate for even it is c of n is equal to c of minus n and combinedly for real and even it is c of n is equal to c of n conjugate this is what we have seen in the previous video in the detail function so if you are not getting this thing you can go and watch the previous video to understand this this was for real and even signal let's say your signal is real even and half wave symmetry okay your signal is real even and half wave symmetry okay so with the real and even what you say is that your cn is equals to cn ka conjugate okay so with this your c of n you know that your c of n is a n minus j b n by 2 for c of n is equals to c of n ka conjugate your c of n will have only a n ka term okay only a n ka term it means that you will have only cosine ka term you will have only cosine term okay so which means that you will have you will have a zero you will have a n and your b f n will be zero okay so there won't be any sine cut term you will have only cosine term and you will have a zero okay but with the half wave symmetry your a zero which is basically c zero will be zero directly right and with half wave symmetry you know that c of n will be zero for n equals to even right so here you have seen that you have only cosine term and with half wave symmetry your even component is also zero so you will say that when your signal is real even and half wave symmetry your signal will have only odd harmonics only odd harmonics of cosine term okay did you get it so this was the case with real even and half wave symmetry okay with real even and hidden half wave symmetry your c0 won't be zero okay it will be dc shift right your c of n will be zero for n equals to even so your signal will have c0 and only odd harmonics of cosine term right now let's see for real and odd we have seen that for real and odd your c of n will be equals to minus c of n ka conjugate right so your c of n is a of n minus j b n by 2 your minus c of n will be a of n plus j b n by 2 here you will have minus a n plus j b n by 2 minus c of n ka conjugate will be minus a n minus j b n by 2 you just your j will replace to minus j okay so if you see these two equation a n minus j b n by 2 here and here you have minus a n minus j b n by 2 if these two equations should be same then your a n term should be 0 okay so with this you will say that your a 0 will be 0 a n will be 0 and you will have only b n ka term and it means that you will have only sinusoidal components your cosine components will be 0 okay this is what you say directly by the trigonometric fourier series also right if your function is odd you will say only bn will present if your function is even you will say only a0 and an will present okay this is what i have elaborated in my previous video also uh, so if you are not understanding this here you can go watch my previous video you will get proper idea okay now let's say your signal is real odd and half wave symmetry with real and odd you know you have only sinusoidal ka term you have only sinusoidal ka, 
component okay with half wave symmetry your c0 will be zero this is already zero because your signal is odd signal okay your c of n will be zero for n equals to even so it means you will have only odd harmonics odd harmonics of sinusoidal signal okay now let's see for real odd and hidden half wave symmetry signal okay with real and odd you know that your c0 is 0 your a of n is 0 with hidden half wave symmetry you know that your c0 will be the dc shift here if you see these two statements c0 equals to 0 and c0 equals to dc shift both these statements contradict each other so actually this type of scenario will never come there is no such signals okay which is real odd and hidden half wave symmetry okay so let's see what are the things that we have seen in this video we have seen what will happen when your signal is real even half wave symmetry and we have seen what will happen when your signal is real even and hidden half wave symmetry we have seen what will happen if your signal is having real odd and half wave symmetry and then we also saw that your signal can't be real odd and hidden half wave symmetry okay so that is it from my side thank you guys